Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online, the Slowtro Edition. This is Narwin A. Say hello to everyone, Narwin A. Good girl, we are still here in the Southern Barrow Downs, as you can see. We are actually standing, possibly standing, almost on top of one of the barrows. We just came out of that one right there. What was the name of that one? This was Gotham. So we were just at the Barrow of Gotham, apparently. We are doing the quest over here where we are trying to find Malin. And we searched inside that Barrow. We could not find him anywhere. So next, we are going to try... I want to circle around this one. Is there an entrance to this one? There is not. Not one that's open, anyway. Hmm. Nope, it's quite closed. So we are going to see if we can't. They, uh, she said, according to the, the, the note, the journal we found, they said it was, he was like at a barrow just up from, just up from a mire. And that looks like what we have right here. So we should be able to find him somewhere around in this area. I'm going to take a look right over yonder. And see if there's anything over there that's possibly going to do it for us. Let's take out this noxious one. Good. Collected another relic of Cardolan. Very good. That didn't take very long. Another white skull. So we are filling out all the bounties over here as well as we go along. We are looking for Malin. And where? I also want to keep an eye on the map and see if I see anything that lights up a, a ring as we go along too. There's some kind of flowers. They looked almost like cactus there. Hope everyone's been having a good one. I'm rather fortuitous. I need to just get into the habit of habit of knowing that it seems like Wednesdays are going to be the days that they do their updates. Because we got one this morning from 8 to 12, said for an update. So I was glad I decided to get on when I did. It is currently 5 in the morning here. More relics and all, more white skulls as we go. And I don't think there's any barrow along there. So yeah, we've got to find this barrow. We, I thought I had searched that one over there pretty well. But perhaps, I'm thinking that whatever we do, there should be, when we find the correct one, I'm thinking there ought to be a ring on the map. What barrow is this? This one's got a name on it. This one is the Tomb of Menendar. Hmm. It's a possibility as well. I'm going to take a quick look. There's the Great Barrow over there, in case you're curious. There should be a camp right there, too. And I got some deeds to a remote quest. That's the, the quest about the Summer Festival. Yep, remember the Summer Festival is going on. We got five Lotro points for completing a deed. Which one did we complete? Dunedain Learning. While the elves were long known as masters of lore, the Dunedain of old were very near their equals in many parts. Bargast eyes. Didn't have to do too much, did we? At the height of their power, the ancient Dunedain held great stores of lore, and unlike the elves whose memories span ages and thus commit little to writing, the Dunedain wrote many volumes describing this lore. Most were lost in great calamities past, but some survive today and from these lore masters have learned a great deal. Use signs of power in battle a thousand times. Wow, I've done that. I guess that, that sign, which one is it? This one? 
Yeah, Wizard's Fire. Is that one of the signs of power? That's the only one I can think of that I've used that much. Neat. What is the other one now? We got a deed bestowed. Class deeds. Tier 2, 1 of 3. Complete these three deeds to earn a class trade point. So we completed Dunedain Learning. We've got to complete Deep Lore and Master of Beasts. So they should be here. Master of Beasts is summon a companion how many times 200 times and we've summoned one of our bears 147 times now okay what was the other one was it deep learning they said well if it's going to be a class why isn't it here hmm Deep learning? No. No. That's my kins. Did that not say what that is? Tier 1? One, 1 of 3? Complete Master of the Staff, Light of Hope, Power of Wisdom. Those are all there. They're all listed right there. This one was Dunedain Learning, Deep Lore. Complete Deep Lore. And it doesn't list Deep Lore. Master of Beasts. That is weird. That is very strange that they don't list... Don't list the one that we're needing to complete right there. Which one's this? Race and Social. Ah. We will take a look at that later. I'm not going to continue wasting time trying to find a deed. I will just go online and look it up and say, Where the hell... Is this particular quest step or, or deed? What do we got to do to complete that deed? In the meantime, uh, I've lost it, didn't I? It pushed that pushed that uh, quest right on out. So the Great Barrows, North Downs, Breelan, find Malin. There we are. The journal you found seemed to indicate that Malin was taken to the Southern Barrow Downs. To a barrow overlooking an evil mire. Fell voices coming for the southern reaches of the barrow downs. Well, there's a fell mire there. Are there any other fell mires? Any other horrible, horrible swamps and stuff like this that we might be able to find? Look at the map right quick. Well, see, there we got two more mires. Why don't we head to this one and check it out? Right after we take out this bar guest and pluck his eyes out of his head. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna finish this, assuming we can find the barrow that it's having a search for. And after we do that, I think we're gonna do some more doom this morning. Get further along in the doom route. Ooh, Barrow White Marksman. As we've had a situation where I've actually played it a few more times, what I've done is gone back, gone back a little ways, tried to complete one of the challenges that we didn't get to complete, and I'm having such a hard time completing it that it has ticked me off, so I've decided I'm not going to do it no more. We're just going to finish on along with the story. Be kind of like having a really bad... Imagine if we had one of those. Hmm. Overlooking a barrow, overlooking a mire. Is it any of these? I don't know. Once again, I'm not seeing anything. Is there a barrow right over there? Let's take this bar guest out of the way. See if we got something right over there where we can go. If nothing else, it is enabling us to knock out some of the, these, not only knock out some of these bounties, but knock out the, I'm sure there's a deed for killing X number of Barrow Whites and a deed for killing X number of, of bar guests and all this stuff. Probably one for killing crawlers too, if we were to go look at it. 
Okay, what? Hot Ikharth. Hot Irkith. Hot Irkith. Sure. I don't see a don't see a ring or anything though, so that just makes me think that it's not gonna be down in here. Wow, Howling Barrow down, a Barrow Warden. 20, boy, those are some tough little spirits. Gathering Grave Moss, defeat Barrow Wardens in the Barrow Downs, 37 of 100. Defeat Bar Guests. Another Barrow Warden. Let's go with this one. Let's blinding flash them. And that will bring these two up. And let's go ahead and take them out. Whoa, that one is really putting a beating. Let's go ahead and use a healing potion to get that up. This might be an instance where we should maybe use a little food to go and explore this place. I never use food like I should. Lord knows I don't have a problem with loving food in real life. So I don't know why I can't do it in, in the uh, fantasy world. Barrow Warden, can we flash you? Yes. Now let's get back on the hound. Crowd control, people. I spent five or six years of my life doing serious crowd control with with EverQuest. You think I'd be a little bit better at it than I was. I think I'd remembered a little bit more. Wow. Took out Bobo. I guess I wasn't paying too much attention to him, was I? Am I gonna be able to do it? Do I need to flash him again? Let's flash him. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Let's see if we can get out of here. Woo, that is a tough one. I'm going to sit here and heal up. I'm going to pull Bobo back up. Bobo, I need you to be my uh, guardian here for a bit. I am just thinking that he is not inside there, if you want to know the truth. Just don't think that that's where I'm going to find him, because once again, there's no ring on the map. I'm going to search around. I'm going to scour the southern bow barrows here, go on all the paths and all, and see if a ring pops up anywhere. And if it does, we'll rejoin you. And if it doesn't, I guess I'm going to just have to pick one of these barrows and go ahead on into it. So we'll see you once we get that out of the way. All right, we're rejoining you here. Didn't take us too long. We even came down here. We looked all around this area, couldn't find it. I came down, okay, let's look at this lake down here. This is the one that's got all the the deadly trees, the awakened trees. You see dreadful barrow maple and all. Did not see it down there anywhere. So I was headed back up this way, and look what just popped up there on my upper left. You see that? There's the ring. There's Malin. So, now we know how to do it. As I said, just go start looking for where the ring is. Is that him? Is that the barrow? It looks like that's the barrow right up there. I'm going to take this out, fight my way up to it. I was afraid we were going to have to go up to the great barrow, maybe, and actually, actually go inside it. Maybe that was the one that they said. But they aren't being that mean to us. And it gives us more of a chance to collect more relics too, doesn't it? Let's see, are we on you? I think we are. Let's get you out of my way. I can only imagine that when I cast that the wizard's fire, that must be the that must be the thousand things of uh, words of power or whatever I do, because that's the only one that I can think of that I could possibly have cast that many times. 
used over a thousand times now. So it looks like I need to, to dismiss and resummon Bobo as often as I can also. We do that now. Dismiss him. And let's rejoin him. Yeah, it's a little metagamey, but what are you going to do? We got to get it somehow. And there is unfortunately mailing right there. Well, you know, if you're going to say it was at a barrow, I would think it would be one of the actual real barrows. And this is overlooking a mire? Really? That isn't overlooking the mire any more than that one over yonder was, but I'm not going to complain. Let's talk about poor Malin. Oh, poor Malin. The dead. As you begin to examine Malin, suddenly the body stirs. Uh-oh. Bent and broken, sundered and torn, so am I, so shall you be. Oh, I don't think we're going to, uh... I don't think we're going to tell his mother about this part. Poor thing. Oh, look at his face. Ugh, the nasty image y'all got there. He actually does look like a... He looks like a zombified, a zombified Brelander, doesn't he? Talk to Addie Wheatley at the Dead Man's Perch. Okay. We're going to fight our way back to the Dead Man's Perch. Go talk to Miss Addie. Let her know what's happened to her poor son here. And I think I might kill a few more things along the way. Yeah, I think we will kill a few more Barghast and, and Whites on the way, maybe. At least the Whites, so we can get these skulls collected. And turn those over. Turn those in for the bounty over there when we get there. Thank you. I will see y'all when we get back to the perch. This one here should hopefully be the last bar guest we have to hunt down. We've killed quite a number of them now, even to the point where we got finished the deed bar guest slayer. Let's see if we can pull some power off of it. Use that one as well. Is it going to do it long enough to actually give us credit? No, it's not going to give us credit for it. But we got the 10 bar guest eyes. Good, good, good. Let's get on up. I am going to tell you. We needed seven, if I remember right. We needed seven uh, bar guest eyes, and I only had to kill about ten in order to get them. It seemed to just fly by there. There were only maybe two, maybe two, maybe three that didn't drop eyes. I've been playing you know, EverQuest with uh, Minefiend often enough here lately that I was getting used to having to kill 20 or 30 things in order to get one to drop, you know? It's nice to come back in here where the drop rates are so much, so much higher. Yep. Shut your mouth. Sit down and shut up. Okay, this should be the dead man's perch coming up over here. I think it's just to the left. And yeah, that's the one I mistook for Dead Man's last time. It's on up here and then past this. Ooh, rich silver. As I've said before, I've really got to get back to to working on collecting my working on collecting my crafting materials. Start mining and mining and collecting again. All this silver, all this barrow iron work on leveling up some crafting while I'm still here level 20. I don't want to have to be like like Narlo where I have to come back and and be back in here far down below where my be collecting in areas that are far below my actual uh, level and and questing abilities. Let's talk to Edith over here first. She's the one that has the bounties. Okay. Bounty bar guest eyes. How can I be of service? These would do well. I am unclear what the power truly is behind these eyes, but I know that I've seen the ill that these creatures can bring about. You have earned this reward well. Sprig of muckwort, chunk of whatever, chunk of whatever, all stuff we're going to sell back because they're just not worth it. But let's take a look. We are a tailor, a farmer, and a cook. And... 
opening the scroll case reveal a journeyman metalworker craft tool recipe. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and get the tailor one. Finish it now, since that's the one we can actually use. Cardolan relics. How can I be of service? I never looked at the thing, did I? Cardolan relics. Just an artifact of Cardolan. I bet the other one just a, a malevolent eye of Vargas, perhaps. These will sell nicely, and I owe you much. Here, this should be a fair trade, and if you find otherwise, you know where I can be found. Get another tailor. Good. And then we're going to go with a white skull. How can skulls. I be of service? Which one is that? There we are. Yep, the lifeless skull of a white. So, we'll probably will collect these again because... Collect these three again because we're going to be in here killing stuff and moving around. And so we can just collect them again. Um, just through the, the, through the course of need? just traveling around the, the barrows here. Yes, this proves a good many victories. You have done a great service to the people of Breland this day. And another Taylor scroll. Very good. I'm going to collect them all again. The Might Vargas eyes. Of your time? Repeatable quest. Yep. Let's accept it. Let's get the white skulls. Would you do something for me? And the Vargas eyes and moment? the relics. There we are. Good. I said we'll keep them just because it's it's we can probably do most of them just wandering around like we did just then. Just wandering around looking for stuff. Addy, however, I am sorry, Miss Addy. Woe to me. Both of my sons are gone. The fools, oh, the fools. They meant to find riches among the dead, but the dead kept their own and claimed my sons. Restless fools, shall I join them now for my own foolishness? Please, please, leave me to my sorrow. Uh, poor Miss Wheatley. I am sorry. Leave me in peace. I will, dear. I will. Hmm. That hurts. Oh, you've got another... You've got another quest, do you? What were you getting? One last chance. Might I take a moment of your that time? That wasn't there a second ago. I'm assuming because we completed her that this one appeared. One last chance. Addie deserves better than the news that you were forced to deliver her. I would ask, if you are willing, that you attempt to finish what her sons could not. Addie is poor. We took her along, thinking that we could do a good service only to end up here in this tragedy. Her sons came here to try and change her fortune, only to meet their end. I am certain they were searching for the rumored treasures of Cardolan. I have oft heard the tales myself of treasures held deep within the ruins of Osgorthad. If there is any truth to this, then the treasure lies at the deepest part of Ostgorthad in the hands of a terrifying creature. Level 20 solo. All right, we will try it. Amlock's guards, which we can't use anyway, but we will collect the Cardolan treasure for Miss Addy here. And hopefully give her one last chance of, of finding peace and serenity. Okay, folks. We will be back. I am going to stop right here where we are overlooking overlooking the wonderful town of Bree. We have a mission as well. Someone has tasked us. So wouldn't it be great to, to do some science and find out how far out in that field can you see can you see fireworks? Can you see them? You know, how close to Bree? How close to here can you be to actually see fireworks? So we are going to give that a go. And see what it is. I'll try to get that done before the next time we jump on Narwhane here, so we'll be able to to uh, let you know that what we find out. So there we go. Thank y'all for coming along. We're going to think about which one of the Summerfest things are we going to do next, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming along. Hope you've enjoyed it. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.